6. Personality of the Infinite Spirit Do not allow the widespread bestowal and the far-flung distributions of the third source and center to obscure or otherwise detract from the fact of his personality. The Infinite Spirit is a universe presence, an eternal action, a cosmic power, a holy influence, and a universal mind. He is all of these and infinitely more, but he is also a true and divine personality. The Infinite Spirit is a complete and perfect personality, the divine equal and coordinate of the Universal Father and the Eternal Son. The conjoint Creator is just as real and visible to the higher intelligences of the universes as are the Father and the Son, indeed more so, for it is the Spirit whom all ascenders must attain before they may approach the Father through the Son. The Infinite Spirit, the third person of Deity, is possessed of all the attributes which you associate with personality. The Spirit is endowed with absolute mind. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. The Spirit is endowed not only with mind, but also with will. In the bestowal of His gifts it is recorded, but all these works that one and the selfsame Spirit, dividing to every man severally, and as He wills. The love of the Spirit is real, as also are His sorrows. Therefore, grieve not the Spirit of God. Whether we observe the Infinite Spirit as Paradise Deity or as a local universe creative spirit, we find that the conjoint Creator is not only the third source and center, but also a divine person. This divine personality also reacts to the universe as a person. The Spirit speaks to you. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. The Spirit Himself makes intercession for you. The Spirit exerts a direct and personal influence upon created beings. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Even though we behold the phenomenon of the ministry of the Infinite Spirit to the remote worlds of the universe of universes, even though we envisage this same coordinating deity acting in and through the untold legions of the manifold beings who take origin in the third source and center, even though we recognize the omnipresence of the Spirit, nonetheless we still affirm that this same third source and center is a person, the conjoint creator of all things and all beings and all universes. In the administration of universes, the Father, Son, and Spirit are perfectly and eternally interassociated. Though each is engaged in a personal ministry to all creation, all three are divinely and absolutely interlocked in a service of creation and control, which forever makes them one. In the person of the Infinite Spirit, the Father and the Son are mutually present, always and in unqualified perfection for the Spirit is like the Father and like the Son, and also like the Father and the Son, as they too are forever one. Presented on Urantia by a divine counselor of Uversa, commissioned by the Ancients of Days to portray the nature and work of the Infinite Spirit.